cool. Occasionally watch our language because uh, we are live on the YouTube. Say hi, Stan. Hi, Stan. Okay. All right. So we're going to paint this mask today. Uh, this is a Frankenstein mask that I sculpted uh, years ago. <laughs> All right. Hello, Scott. There are eight people on already. Crazy. All right. I need to gather some materials. Hi, everybody. Munster of Herman. I want one. I'm thinking that I'm going to do a uh, Frankenstein costume for Transworld this year. That's what I'm thinking. As well as a werewolf costume, because Transworld has announced that the theme of their costume ball is a werewolf theme. And what I'm putting on here looks kind of pastel green, but it when it dries, it will look darker green. And I'm just doing a little base. Dry brushing, dry brushing, that's how I do things. I like me some dry brushing. So I may have to run out at some point in time. Uh, this is a Bucky's shirt. This is a Halloween Bucky shirt. And it says boo ya, I think, or boo y'all on the back. And it glows in the dark. Let's cover those important issues first, right? Boy, hello, Scotland. Hello, everybody. Yes, I did make this mask. I did. And hello, everyone. The back mask is so... Oh, okay, good deal. I hope you got it already. Um, I've had some shipping issues, but I, I live very much in the country. And I don't think that... I do better when I take it to work and ship it from there because it's a bigger city. I'm trying to send Scott a uh, head bust for sculpting on and I get a notification that it's got a ripped box. And they sent me pictures of the ripped box to see if I wanted to send it on or send it back to me. Just throw it away. It's an empty box. It's a stone head that ripped out of the box. Uh, I don't know what they were doing. Or maybe the box got wet. We've had a lot of rain. Maybe the box got wet. And it does weigh about 30 pounds. However, no issues on the insurance. So that is good. I have... Another order that took 14 days to get to Georgia. I could drive there in 14 hours. So 14 days, I think, is excessive. But now is the season when uh, people want things fast. Because folks who do Halloween, they know Halloween. You know, and they, they think about Halloween kind of all year. So they tend to plan ahead a little better. But they don't think about Christmas. So now they have a Christmas haunted house that's about to open. And they want costumes and stuff for it. But they haven't thought ahead to order their Christmas stuff in July. When it would be no problem to get it to them. They order it mid-November. So I'm not bitter. It's a living. Let's see. Personally... In the middle of a phone fiasco. I'm coming off the end of it. I think I have found a good phone. Um, 
had a Samsung that it had the edge screen on it. So anytime, and because it had an edge screen, you couldn't put an OtterBox on it or any kind of a good protective case on it because it, uh, it would cover the edge of that screen. So you really couldn't put a good case on it. So, of course, every time I dropped it, I would break it. And that just got old. And they get tired of giving you free phones. Or even repairs. They don't like to do that. So, I thought, what I need is a tough phone. So I ordered a Kyocera Duo Force Pro 2 phone which uh, came and I swapped my SIM card out and the phone works, but it doesn't have a good camera. I do a lot of this kind of stuff. I take a lot of pictures for work. Uh, my life is very visual, so I kind of need a good camera. So, yeah. But anyway, so, and it was also, that phone is, it's not like a super smartphone. It's not a powerful phone like I'm used to that can look things up quickly and all that. So I was not happy with it. Uh, had that for a couple weeks, two weeks. But I was carrying this phone for pictures. Um, well, I can't show a ghost drawing right now because I'm on... The device that I would show it to you with so like I can't even look up visual reference when I'm on when I'm on my phone here but so I'm sorry but maybe I'll print out something the next time hold on one second for me hey Stan give me a moment to talk to these people out here Okay, you can tell them a story. Okay. Or you could just straight up talk to them. Because I think the plumber is here that I've been waiting on. Hey, YouTube. So, uh, I'm intern Stan. Welcome. Um, happy pre-Thanksgiving. Ezekiel, how's it going, man? Um, so, uh, what I want to talk about if you guys haven't seen it um it's already sold out so the uh monster camp is coming so it's uh the one in january is already sold out they just announced monster camp uh, five is going to be in april so uh a lot of those spots are already gone so if you uh if you are interested in coming out and doing the monster camp it's three days it's an amazing opportunity um, there's a few spots left uh, for April of 2020. So uh, look it up, look on uh, Steel Beast website if you're interested in it. Uh, something I'm gonna, for those of you that didn't have the opportunity, let's, let's look over here. The, uh, this is from, if you didn't see the pictures, this is from our Krampus lab that we just had a few days ago. These are what's left. Um, that's what I'm working on right now. Uh, these are the masks that everybody finished. It was a great experience. Um, had a whole day, had some really talented people come in, had some really great masks done. We're working on one over here. Um, it's on the, uh, it's based out over here. So that's going to be something we continue to do. But again, if you uh, look at the Still Beast website and there's still a few empty spots in Monster Camp, grab them before they're gone. I think after that, there might not be any more spots. That was not a plumber, that was UPS. <laughs> I'm a hyper monster camper, everybody. Right? Let's see. Fix the glow forge. Yes. I do get my horns from a lobe. That's correct. right this is a weird way to prepare a turkey foam horns come from elope often on ebay okay and this is of course my paint mix 
one third, one third, one third. It goes on almost pastel looking, but it does darken up to this real deep green down here. And I don't necessarily want him to be that green, but uh, we're just putting the base down. We're getting started. There's going to be so many colors over top of this that, that happen. Beautiful day outside. I'm trying to open a door up here. Okay. Also gets me a little more light. don't have a lot of paint on this brush. I'm dry brushing. Whatever the grooves are or lines in the sculpture, I'm going across them, not with them. That way my bristles are not going down into those lines. My bristles stay on the high areas. That way your recesses stay dark and your top areas become lighter and lighter. I was a little happy with this sculpture, uh, and I'm still fairly happy with it. I think that now I can do better work, but this is a perfectly acceptable sculpture for the time that I did it. How goes the lasering stand? It's printing a test count in ten minutes. Okay. Has it? Did you? Did it start before you walked away? No, it was uh, counting now. Okay. I want to just make sure it doesn't catch fire again. <laughs> yep, Scott has the link. Hey, Al Driver, good to see you on, sir. My masks run. Uh, they run anything from a uh, hundred bucks, let's say, to for a mask three, three fifty, depending. Uh, Frankenstein here will be one hundred and fifty when he is done. So that's how much he will cost because uh, he's a full head mask with hair. So you know, everything I do to it kind of becomes a factor in the price the time taken on it and whatnot, steps and materials. Try to be reasonable. The uh, Krampuses you see behind me, if they've got LED eyes, like there's two, there's two there, well, only two of those five have LED eyes. The others don't. So, you know, you're looking at 225, 250 in that neighborhood. Those are big masks, they've got horns, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of moving parts to those. Not actual moving parts, there's a lot of parts to those. A lot of processes that have to happen to make one exist. All right, so I'm a kind of a firm believer in building up depth and detail over time and with layers. Everything has this deep green on it now. I'm gonna do another layer over that. I'm gonna add white into my green paint. amazing because a little bit of white goes a long way and I'm going to need less and less uh, dry brushing so I'll need less and less paint and 
And again, I don't want to start in the middle of the face because I'm unsure of this color. I just mixed it. And I'm unsure of how much paint's on my brush. So every time I start a new brush, at least until I become confident, I'm going to start on the back of the head. It's a good color. It's a lot lighter. Now it's going to darken as it dries because it is a house paint uh, type mix. And the back of the head doesn't matter that much. I'm going to hair this Frankenstein mask. This is for an order. Uh, this order came in and I'm like, when do you need it? He's like, Halloween 2020. Oh, okay. That guy's thinking ahead. But this has kind of a small, I have a window of time here where it makes sense to make this right now. So I'm going to do it. I'm not super even. You can see I've got some hot spots. At this stage in the game, it's not a big deal. See, so, and now I don't mind working on the front because I've gotten confident and how much paint is on my brush when I pick up from the table. I normally just use my table as a palette. And so he's kind of greening up a little bit. I do want him to be, you know, a nice cadaverous green, but I'm gonna put, I'll probably put a little gray in here means I'll just put a little bit of black in with my paint and that will uh, gray him up so he's not going to be as green as he will be gray. Very bold move to start on the nose uh, with a fresh brush of paint but you know me I'm known for my subtlety and my wise decisions. He got jokes. Okay, so we're getting there. We're bringing it up to, to color temp. I have never been to a cadaver farm. If I want a dead body, I'll make it myself. Oh, Haunt Helpers, very cool. Thank you. Glad you enjoy it. Uh, I paint them black. I don't. I don't like to mix things into my latex. It hurts the stretch, because whatever is whatever you're mixing in, uh, in order to make it black, is not as stretchy as the latex itself. Therefore, um, it hurts your stretch. I want to get as much stretch as I possibly can. So I paint it black with a high stretch black paint, which is mostly tinted latex. But it being thin, it allows for, for stretch. And there's a little bit of brittleness that can come with depending upon what and how much you mix in. So I'm, I'm pretty careful to just use straight latex on these guys. One of the great things I think that about, you know, is like if I miss under the ear, it just looks like a shadow because it's dark under there already, you know, because I was just looking over at this side. I'm like, oh, I didn't get anything under that ear. It looks like a shadow. I kind of like it. So I leave it. All right. So I feel like I got him this nice light. So, you know, they're so little on my brush that right now I'm almost scrubbing the paint. You know, 
It's not like I have to I touch in this color. I gotta kind of scrub it in, which is good, I think. Dry brushing. So let me add a little more white down here. That's green. And I don't necessarily want to go darker, but I am going to grab my black and add a dot of black in here. So I don't want him to look mint green. I want to add an element of gray into this. My black doesn't want to come out. Black paint has a shy bladder. Okay. I mean, and it, it's paint, but if you want to see the paint. See, and that is adding, it's still a lighter color, so it's adding a bit of a gray that I want. I'm going to hit that again with a little more black. And black doesn't have as significant of a change as like the white does. You know, white is, boom, it changes everything. Black is more subtle. Again, paint on my brush. Go to the back of the head. That color gives its breath a smell. Well, yes. Where do I get a copy of that mask to paint? Well, you can order it from me. Um, my mask blanks that are full heads are 65 and if it's a mask blank of a half mask that i do they're 30 bucks so it's not like they're really expensive if you want to order one i guess uh shoot me a message on the facebook what i don't like is that uh I forget what I don't like. It's a good way to live. Yeah, half mask, blanks, 30 bucks. They're not on the website. Send me a Facebook message on my Facebook or on Stilfy Studios on Facebook. That's easy. Stan, would you do me a favor? Yeah. Talk to the nice people while I say hi to my wife who just pulled up. Yeah. Still a lighter color, but it has a little, just a touch of gray in it. I hand you over to Stan. Just heard my wife pull up, and she may need some grocery carrying help due to Thanksgiving. All right, welcome back. Um, so something I want to switch gears on everybody for a minute and not talk about Frankenstein or whatever uh, Alan was talking about. So one of the things I heard half masks and what we're doing with them. So this isn't a mock-up for Krampus. The, uh, this is a half mask that actually has a foam back on it. So when you put this on, uh, it's glued to this foam helmet that we made and that we cut out. What we'll do with this is these holes here, we'll run LED lights through. They'll come out, they'll attach, they'll be wired. There's a small pouch in the back that'll hold a nine volt battery for when they're hooked up. And then what we'll do is we'll lay hair all the way across this to get the same design that you see behind you. That's how basically we did the whole thing. Uh, and somewhere in between, we'll uh, glue on some horns. We'll pick those out. Uh, what we do, what I'm working on today is our Glowforge. It's our laser printer. So all of these helmets, if you haven't seen them, they start out as a pattern. So this is a printed piece of EVA foam. And what, we'll, what we do with this is 
Alan made a pattern. Uh, we drew it into uh, Illustrator, made a file for it, and uh, now it prints out on the Glowforge. So every single helmet that we get is exactly the same size, exactly the same dimensions. And then uh, it's recalibrating right now because they every time you bump it or move it, you almost have to recalibrate it. And what'll happen is when the other pieces is, is done, we'll take these and we'll heat them up and we'll get some uh, contact cement and then we'll put them all together. And that's where you get the shape of this. It's where you wind up getting your, your backward helmet piece. And what we also do is we cut a little bit out in the back so that it'll expand when you put it on. So it'll fit on anybody on everybody's head. So that's, that's sort of super behind the scenes on how you go from sort of a mass blank, which I don't have the exact one right here, uh, but so here is one we're gonna work on later. Actually, is that the same? Here it is, yeah. So here's the half mask without, this is the same mask. It's already been based out, but as you can see on the back, there's nothing to it. It similarly starts out this way. Can you see me a Krampus backpack? A price for the Krampus? Yeah, we'll get Alan to send you that stuff. Um, but yeah, start phase two, phase three, and then we keep rolling through. We wire them up, LED. Yep. The, uh, and they're asking questions about uh, backpacks. If we have any to show pictures of how much they cost. Back to Krampus. Like the oh. Basket. I don't have any here right now because I ship them off as soon as they're done. But um, yeah, uh, boy. Yes, I will send that, Kirk. I'll send you that price. Yeah, just, just email through the site and it's perfectly fine to request anything or talk about anything. So right now what I'm using for a laser cutter, did you talk about the laser cutter? I did, I showed them uh, okay. the it's pattern. A, it's a Glowforge. Um, it's solidly okay. But uh, I, I'm looking to get another one soon. I want a bigger size bed for the things to be on. And I want... You know, I just have some laser cutter needs. I want a larger cutting area. Yeah. See, and when you dry brush, so you get a little of this blotchiness sometimes. But if you just keep going over it, you know, that all fills in. Nice. And I think it adds to the realism of your paint job if it's not all exactly the same tone. I don't want it blotchy. And, you know, all right, so there are artists who will justify crappy work by saying nature isn't perfect. And I'm not saying, I'm not justifying crappy work. What I am doing is I'm saying, yes, there is some blotchiness in nature. I'm doing my best to keep it not being from blotchy. But... Any blotchiness that I leave, hopefully, will be about the same amount as what is found in nature. Now I've got three different colors of green on here already. And uh, each one I'm actually just doing a little bit less of so that all those colors show through in some area. all show through in some area so I'm getting I'm trying to achieve some nice depth it does kind of bother me a little bit when I'm on a cook when I'm watching a cooking show with the wife because she has the remote and she fell asleep and I can't reach the remote or I'll wake her up and they'll do something and they'll say, oh, that's perfect. So I don't like someone calling their own work perfect. But I find myself painting and going, oh, that's beautiful. And I guess that 
You know, we're not saying it that our work is beautiful so much as that technique is beautiful. That I don't know. I try not to talk too too nice about myself if I can help it. I'd rather make a nice product and have other people talk nice about it for me. I have largely ignored the top of the head. I know how painted that's going to be, so. You know. I mean, I know how haired that's gonna be. That's gonna be like solid hair, pretty much. So it won't need all of the complicated layers that the rest of it has. All right, so. I want to put a touch of fleshiness in here. So I'm going to get a flesh tone. I'm going to go over this with a flesh tone mix. Yes, with green in it too. So today's Wednesday, right, Stan? All day. Okay. That means tomorrow is like actually Thanksgiving. Right. Are you leaving the laser in the dark because it requested the dark? Okay. Oh, Stan likes working with the lights up. I'm wandering in circles because I can't find my flesh tone paint squeeze bottle. It's brown. Blue, red, purple, latex, gray, yellow, blue. I had flesh tone last night when I was painting the girl elf. It's a girl elf. I saw it last night. If there was a pie chart of time spent in the shop, a large wedge of that pie would be looking for the thing I just had in my hand, looking for the tool, paint, apparatus, whatever I used yesterday. And in my shop, there would be a small sec, a small piece of pie, time spent cussing it raw. Maybe not even that small of a piece. I don't know if it'd be small. Yeah. Well, I guess I could just make a flesh tone. It's not my perfect way to do it, but I can use a brown and a white. I like to be consistent, but I'm about to change all these colors for the year anyway, like very soon. There you go. Yesterday. Hmm. I ain't just lose a paint. Red is what I want. Boop. Always test your lights. I'll put a touch of yellow in there. It's kind of weird that the flush is missing. Yeah. I thought I knew that last night. Where the, uh, no. Where were you standing? That's better than me. Yeah, dude. Hooray! <laughs> now that I've already mixed up almost the exact same color. There you go. Alright. But I have some flesh. And I made flesh to mix in with this gray color that I made. It's grayish, greenish. Black. Wait. Fleshish, grayish, greenish. Yeah, see, I've got this nice green undertones now.
if Whataburger does not exist in the area where you live, well, I apologize. And Bucky's. Yeah. And Bucky's. Bucky's is probably the greatest gas station on the planet. As far as gas stations go. Pretty sweet. Yeah. See, this is the most different color we have put on here. This is a, more of a flesh tone. And this is going to take us from a primary color Frankenstein. I'm going to get a little bit more off of this brush. It's not as dry as I would like it to be. Beat the devil out of it. Okay. But I don't want to put a lot of this on. I want to really just bring in, I'm changing the color temperature of this green. I'm just warming this green up a little bit. Yeah, he was made from dead people. But right now, he's alive. And mostly dead is still partially alive. What movie is that from? Princess Red. Thank you. Tell them all at home, Stan. Princess Bride. There you go. Probably owes you money. <laughs> See that flesh and that green are mixing together and flesh tone, but it's a sickly flesh tone. I don't have a lot on my brush. Don't have a lot on my brush, but I, I don't want to put a lot down. I still want that green in there, but I have brightened him up. I think I want one more pass with this stuff, though. I'm pretty happy. You guys see any areas that I missed? All this side of the back of the head, Alan. Thanks, Alan. You're welcome. So it happens you guys don't comment? Talk to myself. Nobody wants that. Pretty good. I'm happy with those colors. Best paint to paint latex mask. And I know you're serious because you wrote in all caps. Well, I use a mixture of one third latex house paint from Home Depot, uh, interior semi gloss, any color you want, that's the color of the paint. One third distilled water, one third latex. I did not give you measurements, I gave you proportions. So when I'm mixing, I fill a third of it the way up with. Uh, water first, then I fill a third of it up with the paint, and then a third of it with latex. And then I shake it like it owes me money. Or like a baby that misbehaved. How do babies misbehave? I don't know. <laughs> All caps was an accident. Okay, that's fine. I wasn't yelling at you. I'll just, you know, make a note. I'm going to put hair on him, yes. No one likes a bald Frankenstein. He should not be Hulk green. That's not my goal. Uh, you're not acrylic, it's a house paint. Yes, I have thoroughly blamed Rob for the flesh colored paint missing. I'm sure it's Rob's fault. Probably. Somehow. Somewhere. Somewhere. 
Now, I am going to start right on the face with this. I think I'm happy with how much is on my brush. And every paint that I've done has gotten lighter and lighter and lighter. And so what's happening is I'm painting a spotlight. So, you know, if I, if I wanted to paint this like there was a light on way over there, pointed straight at his face, the brightest spot would be here. The next brightest spot would be up here. And it would just transition back. Well, by mixing colors the way I do, and by adding white each time, I'm painting a spotlight on his face. And if you're walking around in a spotlight painted onto your face, isn't acting going to be a little bit easier? Isn't getting people's attention going to be easier? Because you already have a spotlight. They make spotlights so people know where to focus. On this monster, especially Frankenstein, you want to focus on that face. So I'm putting it down here, but I'm putting much less of it down here. Lighter, 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 lighter. When, uh, when I have a character with a really big hat with a super, you know, like a black brim hat or something, normally I'll spray paint white inside the brim of that hat. It won't come out perfect white, but you don't lose their whole face in darkness because that's, that's what they're acting with. So I'm going to take my gray and put a little bit more white in it, my flesh tone and my green. You know, and I'm just, I just kind of re-wet the puddle, you know, that's all I did right here. Sounds like my in-laws just showed up for Thanksgiving. They're outside. See how even now I'm doing more on the highlights. Those, those higher areas. This color I'm not putting all over everything. That got hit a little heavy. I can go back. Just knock that back with a little bit of green. A bit of minty green. I'll put a, few, a little bit of black in there too. A little darker. So, there we go. All right, so dry brushed. That is Frank with just the dry brushing that I'm gonna do. I think I feel good. I don't know if I feel good or not. I'm gonna get back from it. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna stand 10 feet back. First impression is what matters. My first impression is going to be from back here. And I see it's uneven. A little bit that fixed it. Okay, I like that. I'm happy to live with Frankenstein in that way. He's not flesh colored, but he's not like Incredible Hulk green, as you guys put it.
Well, that's the colors that I wanted on helpers. Yeah, and well, and now I'm gonna take it to the airbrush and I'm gonna change the lips a little bit and I'm gonna change the, uh, the underneath the eyes and I'm gonna put a little bit more life into this with the airbrush, I hope. First, I gotta clear a space for the uh, head armature holding apparatus, otherwise known as a five gallon bucket. See a dead body? Kind of. Frankenstein's kind of a dead body. Have to plug my airline up to my airbrush. So is it just taking 20 minutes to do that, Stan? It says it can take up to 40 minutes. Wow. So it's printed. I've got it on the computer. I'm keeping it on. Uh, processing so it cut it just etched in a whole bunch of the symbols the glow cord right the whole thing with it and the camera took a picture and the head is like measuring to make sure it's right exactly where it's supposed to be all right I'm behind you guys, so don't freak out. I have Senorita Magenta as an ink color here, which I like. Please show the elves. <laughs> I will show you the elves. ink in the herbrisk. All right, so I'm happy with that color. It's a, it's a very bright, like a magenta. That's good. I might be doing a mummy for Transworld. I'm trying, I'm doing some classic monsters for Transworld this year. So right now what I'm doing is I'm putting in some color in here, but I'm not changing the color of it. Uh, a little bit I am. What I'm really doing is I'm trying to change the temperature. I'm trying to keep it from looking cool and lifeless. Just warm it up a little bit. I'm not staying anywhere long enough. It gets a real heavy coat. Of it. You know, I don't want a purple, no, but I want to look like there's blood under the skin. Oh, 
horror beauty, make sure you say hey if you come to Trans World. Ezekiel, you know how I feel about Michael Myers masks. I'm not a fan. All right, so I do think that I put some uh, lipstick on him, and I didn't want that. That wasn't my intention. So I'm going to have to go over that with a little something, something. There is a color called Shadow Gray that I'm about to use, but it is translucent, meaning any other color in this airbrush. Yeah, Ezekiel's on. He's posted a couple times, I think. I could swear I saw that. Yeah, Ezekiel Bradshaw, he's on. Jeff, so you can see what I'm doing. You still can't see what I'm doing. I'm just cleaning all this out of the airbrush. I dumped it back in the bottle, what was left, because I started with a clean airbrush. Now I'm running it till the color is out. And then, opening it all the way up. Now I'm going to put some carburetor cleaner in it. I'll clean the airbrush really good. I think more annoying to me than um, Michael Myers masks are Slipknot masks. But who knows? And now it's much more translucent, but it's still pretty pink. Now that I went with carburetor cleaner, I'm going to grab my spray bottle of alcohol and run that through it. I'm being real careful with this. Now is the five minutes where I walk around the shop and wonder what Rob did with my alcohol bottle. Spray bottle? It is not here. Oh, awesome. What the heck, Rob? Ah, I found it. It's over here at this station that I was working at. Sure, it was Rob's fault. Well, 15 years is a uh, long time for a compressor to work. I tend to kill mine much earlier. You mean the old Ben Cooper costumes? So now my airbrush is full of alcohol. Still spraying pink. Mostly, mostly gone now though. Very little pink in this. So now I feel fine putting that shadow gray in there. One more run. It's time. On my door, this is the door that goes in the other room of the shop. So on this door is there's plastic shelving that you put together with these square legs. Well, I had some of those legs, but I wasn't using the shelving. So we drilled holes in them, and that's what holds all of my inks now. Uh, not all, I got a few over here still, but I should be able to find my shadow gray somewhere over here. And no. Am I out of shadow gray? If I'm out of shadow gray, I'll have to add a lot of alcohol to black. You asked Alexa to put on your shopping list a while back. Did you order it? Alexa, add shadow gray ink to my shopping list. 
I added shadow gray ink to your shopping list. while I'm switching colors, or before I switch colors. Let's look at these elves you guys wanted to see. So this is the six pack of elves that I have that are gonna be up for sale. We'll put them on the website. Shannon will probably put them up tonight for any haunt that needs six elves. When we do six, we always change the hair up. Like this one has, you know, eyebrows and chops, and uh, this one has a mustache. And uh, there's actually three different sculpts we used between these guys. So they're all a little bit different. I think that's nice. Yeah, elves. Shadow gray. That's what I was doing. Oh, I shake your shadow gray. I don't think it settles or anything, but what if it does and no one told me? That is coming out exactly the color that I want. So, I feel really good about putting this on here. Toning down the amount that's coming out. Every time I turn that dial, that circle gets smaller. happy with that. Remember I gave him lipstick? Well, yes, these are pinata inks, alcohol-based ink. That's what I normally use by Jacquard. And that's probably backwards, but you get the idea. These are four ounce bottles. They're about $11 on Amazon. shadow putting some shadows into him making his jawline stronger making that neck tendon pop out a little more Hey, Stan, what time is it? Okay. You know, I always value your help in the shop. Don't you have to leave at 4 o'clock? Okay. Liking where that's going. I do I still think his lip is still a little too pinkly purple. Um, yes, because these inks go over top of latex masks well, and the latex mask paint I've already got on there allows them to stretch. And some airbrush paints don't stretch, and inks do a really good job of having a high pigment content, and then I can Control that pigment content by thinning the airbrush uh, ink, the alcohol-based ink, with alcohol. So that is why. No bolts on his neck. 
No, I did not do any bolts on Frankenstein. You can always add bolts down the road if you want, but once they're on there, they're on there. Easier for me to glue them on down the road rather than um, start with them in the sculpt, then I can't move them around. If I want more of a Monster Squad Frankenstein, I can move those bolts up here on the forehead. If I want a classic Frankenstein, I move them down here on the neck. So by adding them on later, I have more options, and I'm all about options. Thank you, Hard Beauty, for the time. Everybody who told me what time it was. <laughs> You're going to send me Lobo's paramilitary Christmas special. The elves in it are phenomenal. Well, okay. Try and burn a little something, something. See what yes, that is my that's my Wi-Fi password for all the people who are in my shop during um, like Monster Camp and they want visual reference. And that was like a common password for me. But once I realized people can see it in here every now and then, I made sure, like, it's not my Amazon password or anything like that. <laughs> okay. All right. There we go. 7.40 a.m. in here in the future, and happy Thanksgiving. Why, thank you. Would I consider suturing the mask? Yes, I would, actually. Um, and the classic Frankenstein, the universal Frankenstein, has a big metal staple right here, and he has a big one right here. Um, I, you know, might occasionally add something over this, but again, that's something I'm going to add later so I have options. The more you do on the mask, on the sculpture, the fewer options you have down the road. I'm just going to knock off this purple lip a little bit. That bothers me. I don't like how purpley that got. Why would Frankenstein wear purple lipstick? Obviously, he's got a spring palette. He's a winter. So much you lose off the top automatically. Okay. And the side. So we'll probably have to adjust. But it's almost all the way to the end on the other side. Yep. Great. Great. <laughs> this is just some of my latex paint I'm putting on my fingertip and smarging around there. So I'm not smudging. I am smarging. Just to mock that back a little. That was too bright of a lip. And I think that makes him a little stronger. Um, he's pretty much painted. I might put a little something something inside of that crack on his head. Let's do that. Und Bruschke. A little bit of Rip City FX haunt sauce. Often I make my own blood, but um, these guys often have this size at the, at the trade shows or whatever for 20 bucks. And it's nice, it's good looking stuff. And I'm actually not doing it much for color. Mostly I'm doing it, it's gonna put a little bit of a glisten in there. It will give me a little bit of color but I'm putting it on this, the black background because my brush never got in there. So it's going to give me a nice dark red color, kind of, that only peeks out. But inside of here has a little bit of wetness, a little moisture. It's all about the moisture. That looks nice, in my opinion. See how dark that is in there? I'm going to go on the outside of the cut. I'm going to leave a little halo for it. 
it's just gonna, just gonna become like an area of shadow to make that cut look a little swollen. It seems counterintuitive to outline something to make it look more realistic. But once I put that level of shadow out there, now look how much that cut pops a little bit because I outlined it with that very light shadowy effect. Okay. Uh, I'm going to call this Frankenstein painted. What do you think, Stan? Fire. Frankie. I will hair him eventually. Yes. All right. So that's him. He's painted. I might go live later tonight. We'll see and hair him and get him finished. So thank you guys for watching. Happy Thanksgiving and go make stuff.